Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So, the new daily quest for today is to cast 20 white or green spells. Not too bad. Naturally, we'll be making some progress on the attack with 45 creatures as well. But to go ahead and get started on the white and green, we're actually going to be running the Abzan Elves deck. I think I've talked about it a little bit. I thought about doing some more mono white cats, but I was like, you know what? You know, I'm willing to try. I'm, I'm willing to show this one off. Now, I haven't actually used it yet, but it's fairly straightforward. I mean, every creature in the deck is an elf, and then we have various creatures, various cards and abilities, things that benefit them, such as. Where are you? Elvish Archdruid, other elves. Other elf creatures you control get plus one, plus one. And then add green for every elf you control. Very nice. Um, we have Wilt, Leaf, Liege. Uh, green creatures you control get plus one, plus one. White creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Very nice. Uh, if a spell or ability an opponent controls causes you to discard this card, put it onto the battlefield instead of putting it into your graveyard. So that's a nice little way of dealing with some discard decks. So that, yeah, just kind of nice. Easy way to cheat it out instead of paying you know four mana for it we also are running banner of kinship i've seen a few different decks running this for more tribal decks because that's what this card works best with is in tribals seeing as how when you play it you choose a creature type for us that would be elf uh, and then the artifact gains fellowship counters based on the amount of creatures you have on the field or yeah the, for each creature you control of the chosen type so if you have like five elves on the field when you throw a banner of kinship out, it gets five fellowship counters. And then creatures you control of the chosen type get plus one plus one for each fellowship counter on this artifact, which is pretty, pretty powerful when you think about it. Now this is an Abzan deck, so there's a splash of black in the form of two different forms of Glissa. Uh, Glissa Herald of Perdition is more so a way to kind of deal with sweepers because you can start making up an army of incubator tokens. Easy enough, though I don't really see us using this card all that often. The other one, and the one, the more prominent one, is Glissa Sunslayer. She's just a absolutely fantastic card. Great way of getting rid of enchantments if you can deal direct damage with her, and so on and so forth. Just a fantastic card. I am running some copies of I am running some copies of Tyvar the Pummeler, mainly because his ability to you know creatures you control get plus one plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. That actually pairs. And you know, that pairs very nicely. Pa pairs very nicely with, you know, Archdruid buffing things, Wilt Leaf Lead buffing things, Banner of Kinship buffing things. Oh, and Leaf Crown Visionary, forgot about this one. Buffing all of our elves. So, like, with just those out on the field, or just these two, that's a plus two. So, yeah, it's it can get kind of crazy. There is one copy of Reclamation Sage in here, mainly because when it enters, you can destroy a target artifact or enchantment. Just, it's nice. It's good, you know, good cost, I think. And then Werefox Bodyguard, which is indeed an elf, which is awesome, but is removal. So, not much, not much else really to say. I guess there is Iconoclast here where we'll never be using its kicker ability. Well, that, that's actually not true. Because of Stalwart over here being able to tap for any color, well, tap an untapped artifact or creature you control, plus tapping stalwart would it be able to produce the red we need to send out Iconoclast, but I don't see myself doing that that very often. But, eh, maybe. Anyway, there's not much else to say. Oh, no, I don't want to do ranked. I was doing, I did, I ran a match or two of ranked to try out, to see how the Rakdos Dragons did in there. Not bad. Then again, I never really go past bronze, so <laughs> the lowest tier, but yeah, it's, it's, it's something. Anyway, enough about that. Let's give this a shot. I haven't used it yet. Yeah, I haven't used this deck yet. Um, I'm sure things will change as time goes on.
Yeah, see, tapping that tapped my Land of War as well. So, I mean, that's so that's kind of a way to get around the fact that Land of War comes out summoning sick, so. What is with all of the secluded courtyards? That's kind of crazy. You gonna get rid of my Iconoclast? Yeah, not much I can do there. <laughs> All right. I'll admit I'm a little worried about my uh, land at the moment. Archfiend. So there's the thing. I could do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Archfiend. So what they take? Uh, Greed's Gambit. Okay. Hold. The whole problem with that is that they will send it to me. It's an enchantment. I need a way of getting rid of an enchantment. That's not what I was hoping for. Which will send that to me. Yep. I know this. I know this. Um, yeah, I know the way this works. Again, not what I was hoping for. Now, why? It's really not that big of a worry, but yeah, we'll see. Another Beseech the Mirror, are they going to do another Greed's Gambit? That left them with three, three lands, three mana, Archfiend. Okay. That's fine. Sacrifice is a non token. Not too bang up about about that. And let's transform. Alright, well, Herald of Perdition just uh, proved her worth, because that was, that was great. And that also nicely helped us complete the attack with 45 creatures. Not too bad. Alright, well, let's go for another one. This is kind of interesting. 
Yeah, this is very a very interesting deck, I'll say the least. No. No, no green? No, can't do it. It's better. Yeah, it's better. I'm actually going to send the Glissa to the back. Because I have, I think, like three or four copies of that one, but I only have two uh, Heralds. Oh, that actually, that works out fairly well. Soon. Yeah, I should have gotten rid of that. But yeah, he learns. Learn something new. Let's go. Now, see, that's gonna. Be, see, yeah, see, I don't like stalwart, so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna. Pretty sure Star Stalwart here is not going to survive the deck. Just saying. I'm gonna have to get rid of the Beast Caller, but it really doesn't matter. Sadly. I had a way of exiling. Ah, there we go. That will do nicely. Yes, that will do very nicely. I think that also removed all the counters from it because it pulled it from play. Season of Gathering? That's not good. Thankfully they can't they won't be able to play it for a little while. Dusk Legion. Nicely done. I mean, I still, I still don't think I win this, just because. Yeah, just because. Huh, there's the land of war elf here a little late. But, yeah. See, it, it wants me to tap something else. I mean, I mean, I guess I could do that. Let's go with the green. Sad, the sad truth is, the Land of War Elves is just going to be a blocker for this. Really? Interesting. And 
Let's go ahead and do this. I'll take white and tap you. See, the only bad thing is it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, see, playing passive has its advantages. I was building up a board of elves to really mess with my opponent, but I'd say I did give them some map tokens, which would allow them to boost up their Dusk Legion Duelist, which wouldn't have been great if they were able to get something other than a land. Yes, they wouldn't have been able to cast Season of Gatherings, but. It depends on what this card was, but I guess they didn't they didn't see a way to to win, so I'll take it. I will take it. I can't say whether or not I was going to attack the next turn, but it was kind of looking like I was going to, so but awesome. We take those. So that is Absan Ellis, I do believe. However, that I'll be getting rid of stalwart it it worked to a point but i don't like that you have i mean and yes adding you know adding one mana of any color is fantastic but i have four cavern of souls and four secluded courtyard to do the same for my elves to get you know to get glissa out to get to get both glissa out i have one swamp but that's really not going to help all that much but um but yeah so it's like i have ways of getting that in mana and again yes it helped with in that last match of uh, getting out my get lost, but still. So it'll still be it'll be in the deck list because I don't know what to replace it with yet. But next time we see this deck, this will stalwart probably will not be in it unless I can't find anything better. So yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, we do have a few packs to open, I believe. So let's check that out. Yep, we got a Bloomborough and a Foundations. Let's open up the Bloomborough first. Got a rare from that. Alright, nothing too interesting in the commons and uncommons. At least nothing that catches my eye. Except for Gossip's Talent. I don't think I've ever really paid attention to this one. And it's a Surveil Engine. Okay. What's our rare? We take that above all else. That is, This is absolutely my preferred... Yes, my preferred is a wild card. Fantastic. Alright, now the Foundations. Also a rare... Okay, I think I've pretty much gotten all of the commons and uncommons you can get from the standard packs. I think there's some foundation cards that are exclusive to jump in, to the jump in stuff, you know, that the tokens you get sometimes, but I haven't really looked into it. But anyway, what is the rare? Blasphemous Edict. I think that's my second copy of it. Okay, it's a five cost sorcery. When you pay, when you pay one black rather than pay this spell's mana cost if there are oh sorry you may pay one black rather than this rather than pay this spell's mana cost if there are 13 or more creatures on the battlefield each player sacrifices 13 creatures of their choice uh okay i i, I can def i can see like I can see like where this card would be used against opponent that has like is generating a lot of tokens has a lot of stuff on the field but Okay, I mean, I don't see myself ever using that, but okay. You know, to each their own. But anyway, like I said, that is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is released, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.